Good morning learners. Welcome to the course Grammar and Usage for Undergraduates. We are going to learn reported speech in this module. In two ways, what is said by a person can be represented. Okay. Already somebody has spoken something and we are going to report it to uh, somebody else. Okay. This is the reported speech. Uh, there are two types. One is direct and another is indirect. Okay. This indirect is the reported speech. Direct speech can be uttered in this way. He said, I have a two wheeler. Okay, directly we are telling that so and so said that I have a two wheeler. How can it be said in an indirect speech? He said that he had a two wheeler. Okay, he said that he had a two wheeler. Okay, so this is how we report other speech. Other speech uh, can be reported in two ways. One in direct way that so and so said something or in an indirect way that it is said in this way by somebody. Okay. Uh, there are certain changes we need to observe when we change direct into indirect. Important, the most important change is the tense change. Okay. Let us see some examples in uh, statements. Verb in the reported speech should be changed to its corresponding past tense as follows. Because in reported speech, in indirect, we need to convert it into past tense because somebody said something. It is reported. Of late, it is reported by you. So that uh, it already happened. The tense need to be changed in this context. Simple present tense should become simple past in indirect. For example, she said, I prefer coffee. Okay. She said, I prefer coffee. It becomes, she said that she preferred coffee. I prefer coffee is changed into, she preferred coffee. Okay, I prefer simple present tense is changed into simple past tense. She preferred coffee. Then let's move on to the next tense, present continuous. Present continuous should be changed into past continuous. Okay, she said, I am waiting for my friend. She said, I am waiting for my friend. Okay, it should be converted into, she said that she was waiting for her friend. She said that she was waiting for her friend. I am waiting for my friend becomes she was waiting for her friend. Okay. Note the change of tense. Okay. We have quite a number of other changes also. We will see to it later. First, let us fix our mind into the tense change. Third one is present perfect tense becomes past perfect. Okay. Example, he says, I have bought a Samsung mobile phone. He says, I have bought a Samsung mobile phone. I have bought present perfect tense. Okay. It becomes as he said that he had bought a Samsung mobile phone. He said that he had bought a Samsung mobile phone. I have bought becomes he had bought. Okay. Present perfect becomes past perfect in indirect speech. Okay. Next tense change. Present perfect continuous becomes past perfect continuous. Okay. Present perfect continuous becomes past perfect continuous. Example, she said, I am waiting for my friend. She said, I am waiting for my friend. It should be converted as, she said that she was waiting for her friend. She said that she was waiting for her friend. I am waiting for my friend becomes, she was waiting for her friend. Moving on to the next tense. Simple past becomes past perfect. Example, he says, I went to my hometown. I went to my hometown is in simple present tense. Okay. It should be converted into, he said that he had gone to his hometown. He said that he had gone to his hometown. Okay, moving on to the next tense change. Future becomes conditional because we are converting all the present into past, past into uh, perfect. Okay. Here future, when it is converted into past, will becomes would. So that future becomes conditional. Example, he said he will come tomorrow. He said he will come tomorrow. When you convert it, it becomes he said that he would come the next day. Okay. He said that he would come the next day. He will becomes he would. Okay. Future continuous becomes conditional continuous. Example, she said, I'll be traveling tomorrow by this time. She said, I'll be traveling tomorrow by this time. 
She said that she would be traveling the following day by this time. She said that she would be traveling the following day by this time. So, will be traveling becomes would be traveling. So, the present tense is converted into its corresponding past tense. The tense change is a vital factor when you convert direct into indirect. Okay. The other changes are as follows. Okay. Uh, the word say or says becomes said when you write it in indirect speech. Okay. Then uh, changes in pronoun and adjective also take place. For example, first person becomes third person in reported speech. First person becomes third person in reported speech. For example, I becomes he or she, we becomes they. Okay. For example, he said, I have forgotten to bring my lunch. He said, I have forgotten to bring my lunch. It should be converted as he said that he had forgotten to bring his lunch. He had forgotten to bring his lunch. My lunch becomes his lunch because he says, okay, corresponding pronoun and its possessive case should be used. He says so that he forgot to bring his lunch. Next example, he said, I brought the belt for my father. He said, I brought the belt for my father. He said that he had brought the belt for his father. He said that he had brought the belt for his father. Okay. I brought the past tense becomes he had brought. Uh, my father becomes his father. So, this corresponding first person, third person change is very much essential in a reported speech. Exemption. There is always exemption. We can't bring everything under rules when it comes to be the second language English. Um, so, there is always exemption. The exemption is he says, I appreciate him. Consider this uh, sentence. He says, I appreciate him. When you uh, change it into indirect, he says that he appreciates her. He says that he appreciates her. You can notice that there is no tense change in this uh, indirect because there is an exemption that um, present, present perfect and future can be reported without tense change. This exemption is there. For example, Paul is telling, I am trying to book a taxi that can be converted into indirect as Paul says he is trying to get a taxi. This is an exemption because uh, the exemptional cases are always there. Yes. Time and place in indirect speech. Uh, so far we have seen the tense change, how the pronoun gets changed. Then now uh, the first person gets changed into third person. Now we move on to how time and place is should be changed in indirect speech. In direct speech today should be should become in indirect speech as that day. Today becomes that day. Yesterday becomes the day before. The day before yesterday becomes two days before. Tomorrow becomes the next time or the following day. The day after tomorrow becomes in two days time. Next week or year becomes the following week or year. Last week or year becomes the previous week or year. A year ago becomes a year before. Okay. For example, I met her the day before yesterday. He said, I met her the day before yesterday, he said. He said that he had met her two days before. He said that he had met her two days before. Yes, questions in indirect speech. Questions in indirect speech. So far, we have seen quite a number of examples for statements. Now, we are moving on to the next category of sentences, questions. Okay. How to report questions in indirect speech? In direct, uh, in direct speech, she said, where is he working? Where is he working? In indirect speech, it becomes, she asked where he was working. Okay. She asked where he was working. So, the actual question becomes mere statement, a reported statement in conversion. In direct to indirect conversion, the question becomes a mere reported statement. And... Uh, uh, the word is asked for questions usually the word uh, that we should use is asked and the other necessary changes are tense change as usual say becomes ask or inquire or wonder or want to know and the pronoun change as usual possessive adjective his her change should take place adverb of time 
okay today becomes that day uh, that change should also be strictly followed and place change place change means uh, question in a question where is he working where is the wh word is verb he the subject okay so in a question verb subject is the pattern in the reported statement it should be subject verb a statement the format of the statement is subject verb so this place place change should be strictly followed example she said where did he study she asked where he had studied she said where did he study where did he study becomes she asked instead of uh, said in questions asked should be used she asked where he had studied yes moving on to the next one next example she asked what have you brought for lunch she asked what have you brought for lunch she asked what i had brought for lunch okay if there is no question word wh word if or whether must be used assume that there is no question word wh word what when which in the given question a mere sr no question is there and you need to report it in direct speech okay how to do that you need to use if or whether okay if is formal and whether is to denote choice okay uh, example was he there she asked was he there she asked she asked if he was there in indirect speech it becomes she asked if he was there do you like it she asked do you like it she asked in indirect speech it becomes she asked me whether i liked it because it denotes the choice so whether should be used if should be used for formal uh, context and whether for choice moving on to the next category commands requests and advice okay in indirect speech how to report commands requests and advice okay. he said open the door john he said open the door john he told john to open the door he told said becomes told and the object comes next to the verb he told john to open the door the connective here is to to and put the direct the command there open the door he told john to open the door command how to report command in indirect speech verbs that can be used advise ask command order recommend request tell these verbs can be used example he said put on your jacket rosy he said put on your jacket rosy he advised rosy to put on her jacket he advised we are using the verb advised he advised to rosy the object comes next then connective is to put on her jacket okay her jacket next example paul said don't swim in the cold water ragu paul said don't swim in the cold water ragu paul advised ragu not to swim in the cold water paul advised ragu not to swim in the cold water because it is negative so not to swim in the cold water then request how to um, report request in indirect speech she said could i meet rekha please it's a request okay she said could i meet rekha please she asked to meet rekha okay for request you can use the verb asked she asked to the connective is uh, it's similar for request command it is similar so to what is the actual uh, meaning there meet rekha okay to meet rekha next example he said i would be very grateful if you could assist me he said i would be very grateful if you could assist me he asked me to assist him he asked me to assist him advice form moving on to the next form advice how to report the advice if i were you i would complete it i said okay if i were you it's an advice okay it's an indirect advice that's it okay so uh, if i were you i would complete it i said i advised him to complete it it becomes as i advised him to complete it in indirect speech in indirect command or request okay a few more examples if i were you i would stop taking rescue inhaler 
if i were you i would stop taking rescue nalar it is a kind of uh, indirectly um, advising somebody okay i advised him so use the verb advise i advised him to stop taking rescue nalar i advised him to stop taking rescue nalar he said why don't you stop drinking cold water he said why don't you stop drinking cold water he advised me to stop drinking cold water okay he advised the verb is advised me the object comes next then connective is to to stop drinking cold water then negative command okay so far we have seen positive commands now let's move on to negative command negative command ragu said don't go there ragu said don't go there ragu said not to go there okay so don't go there becomes not to go there use of let's let us let him okay because it's a kind of friendly way of telling something okay so how to report it he said let's start now okay it becomes he suggested to start now because it's a friendly suggestion um, can be informal so he suggested to start now okay let's start now he said let's start now becomes he suggested to start now yes next the fourth category of sentences is exclamations okay so how to report exclamation uh, exclamations in indirect speech she said what a one uh, what a wonderful flower it is okay she said what a beautiful flower it is okay she exclaimed because it's an exclamation okay so we can use that word she exclaimed that conjunction is that connective is that it was a beautiful flower she exclaimed that it was a beautiful flower he said good morning he said good morning he greeted me with good morning he greeted me with good morning so he said good morning becomes he greeted me with good morning she said all the best she said all the best she wished me all the best so it's a wish so uh, wished can be used the verb wished can be used she said congrats okay she said congrats can be written in indirect speech as she congratulated me okay so learn the nuances acquire the skills and fly high thank you learners wish you happy learning